Good evening to everybody. Good evening. Amen. That sounds better. We thank God again today to be back together again on this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, Friday evening. We praise God because God is good to us, better to us than we've been to ourselves. We are grateful now to each of you that are here. I know it by the right family. We are grateful that you here today and I want to let you know that in this time, in this time, there are hearts heavy, questioned ass, it seems like we don't have no answers for. But I do want to tell you that the Lord will take care of us. He will provide in all of our losses. There is gain in all of our loss there is gain so I want to let you know that it might seem like it's unbearable but you can bear the Lord said he wouldn't put no more on you than you were able to bear and I believe that I believe what thus says the Lord so we're grateful here to be here we're going to ask Someone, do we have any more ministers in the audience that would love to take a part? Any ministers in the audience? All right. And every now and then at my church, I might not have ministers, but then I have wannabe. Do we have any wannabe preachers out there? <laughs> Amen. I say that's at my church where I'm at. I have some wannabe preachers at my church. So if we got any wannabes out there, you can take a part. All right, we're going to ask someone to give us a song, an opening hymn, and after that, then we will go into our scripture reading. What a Everybody. friend we Everybody have help us sing. Everybody, Jesus. everybody, everybody help us sing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 a privilege to care. Fight for, for sin. sin. 
going and my reading and my studying the Lord says he give females to us to help us and at this time I'll ask my daughter she ain't don't want to be preaching but she can pray everybody ought to pray come on now y'all everybody ought to pray so prayer Prayer do something. Yeah, we got the thing that we say sometimes prayer changes things. But I stop by to let you know prayer changes people. Can I get a witness in here? Prayer changes people. And if you pray, the Lord says, if you pray and leave it to him, he would make your enemy become your footstool. So I'm asking Sister Weaver, lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, yes. how the would be thy holy name. Lord, it's again, I bow down just to tell you thank you. Thank you, God. Lord, I thank you right now, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for this family on this afternoon, Jesus. Yes. Lord, I ask you right now, Father, whatever they stand in the need of Jesus, I ask that you grant it to them right now, Jesus. Yes. Lord, I ask you right now, Father, if they need a little bit more love, yes. give them love, Lord. Have mercy, I pray, have Lord. Mercy, and Lord, oh Lord, I yes. ask you right now, Father, whatever we stand in the need of, grant it to us right now, Lord. Yes. For I know you said, Jesus, that you be with us through the thick and the thin. Have mercy, I pray, Have Lord. And Lord, let them know, Jesus, Let's that go. you are God that don't know, don't make no mistakes. Have mercy, I pray, Lord. Yeah. And Lord, let them know, Father, that you won't put no more on us than we can bear. Yes, Have sir. mercy, I pray, Have Lord. And Lord, oh Lord, while I'm thanking you, Jesus, I want to thank you for my last night rest, Jesus. Yeah. It yeah. wasn't on my cool Board. Have mercy, I pray, mercy, Lord. And mercy. Lord, oh Lord, somebody under the sound of my voice, their hearts are burning today, yeah. Jesus. But I ask you right now, Lord, right that now. you lift their heavy burdens. Yeah. Have mercy, I pray, Have Lord. Mercy, and Lord, let them understand that you will return back again. Yeah. This too will pass. Have mercy, I pray, Have Lord. Mercy, and Lord, oh Lord, I'm asking you right now, Jesus, right now. to look on everyone, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Lord, look on them right now, Jesus. Yeah. It's their time now, but yeah. our time is soon to come. Yeah. Have mercy, I pray. Mercy, and Lord, oh Lord, when, when, Lord, when I come down to the end of my journey yeah. and my tongue is glued to the root of my mouth, yeah. Lord, keep my ears open, Jesus, yeah. so I can hear you say, Servant, yeah. servant, yeah. well done, yeah. thy good and faithful servant. Yeah. You have struggled along the way, but well done. Yeah. Come on home, come on home. Yeah. And Lord, oh Lord, oh, I want no, you, no. Jesus, to give me my six packs, Jesus. Yeah. I yeah. want two wings yeah. to veil my face, yeah. two wings yeah. to veil my feet, yeah. Jesus, yeah. and two wings. Yeah. So I can fly away yeah. and forever be at rest. Yeah, have so. mercy, Jesus. Have mercy, I ask all have these mercy. prayers, Father, in the name of the Father, yeah. in the name of the Son, yeah. and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 Thank God for the prayer coming from our sister here on today. We thank God for her. Now, 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 come down to the reading of our scripture lesson. Reading of our scripture lesson. Psalms 23, 
Psalms 23, Old Testament, Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pasture, leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And I love, I love verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley, the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff that comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my appointed of my life, and I will wait until my chains come. God bless you and heaven smile upon you. New Testament scripture come out of John 4, John 14, John 14. John 14. Be our new scripture for today. Fingers ain't working good. Yes. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mentions. If it was not so, I wouldn't have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I goeth, ye knoweth, and the way ye knoweth. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not where thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus answered him right here in verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The word of God for the people of God. We ask you to take these words in and use them for your benefit. Now, 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 come down to reflection, come down to remarks from whomever going to do the remarks. We ask you and the family has request that you uh, limit them to three minutes. You can say a lot of stuff in three minutes. Y'all know that? When you get on the Facebook, it don't take three minutes to get a whole lot of junk started. Y'all ain't talking to me. Amen. 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 It just takes just a few minutes and you can get a whole lot of stuff started and you can't out it in a year. Amen. So I'm asking you, whoever coming to do the reflection here, we ask you, the family have asked three minutes. Now this is where it come in at where they want to be preaching. You ever seen people at churches making remarks and they preach in there for their preacher preach? Yeah, and they take a long time. So I'm saying to you, the family have asked this, that you do three minutes, please. All right, who may have? To my family. The Lord bless thee and keep bless thee. You, the Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Weeping may endure for a moment, Melissa and Lynn, but I promise you, joy will come in the morning. And I love you guys with all my heart. And I'm here anytime. It does not matter when you need me. I love you. Thanks for wiping that COVID away. Thank you. But anyway, it wouldn't be right to come in and say nothing good about Mama Bowles. That's what I call her, my Mama Bowles. I'm Tamika Chandler. I came all the way up from North to be with my family during this time. 
and let them know that I'm going to continue to be here whenever you need me. Mama Rose is going to be definitely missed because I was the one that moved her down here many years ago. And she was in the happiest place where she at right now. She wanted to be here a long time ago. And to be in her house and to hear her say, Melissa, Mika, what y'all in there doing? That was my Aunt Rose from the beginning because she didn't care. She would whip my tail right along with Melissa. And Melissa come upstairs and do what she got to do. Melissa going home would not be in because my mama didn't beat nobody else's kid. But Mama Rose, she going to whip your tail if you get out of line. And that's what I love her for because she kept everybody in line. And this to show with everybody that's here right now, she is very much loved. From those that couldn't make it, they're here in spirit and in prayer. So... Everybody, let's be well, and let's continue to do more love, like the preacher said. Because I'm looking for more love, and I need more love. Amen. 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 I just want to let my grandma know that I'm proud of her, and I will miss her so much. On um, this is phone calls. Malu, can you go to the grocery store for me? Uh, us sitting there watching Family Feud. Come on at 7, Channel 7. The news. I miss all of that. Going all of them places, getting her peppermints, and she liked the peppermint, so so she go, she she'll send you down for them. Yeah, I'm gonna miss her. I just want y'all to know that I love her. For her to know that I love her too. That's it. Hey, aunt Rosalie is my favorite aunt. I've said it since I was a little girl, and I'll say it today. She's given me so much love and treated me so well. Um, I'm her niece from Jersey City. I'm Pee Wee's niece. But Aunt Rosalie loved me like I was her own. Her own. And um, I loved her cornbread. So, thank you. The acknowledgement, the remarks about our dear sister. Uh, I knew her from yesteryear. Uh, the family of on the right side, the right side. I knew them from from even before Uncle Junior Wright got married. We were boys together, running around in the Johnsonville, Hemingway, Lake City, Cameron Town community hunting girls. <laughs> I'm talking about yesteryear, and I ain't talking about yesterday. I'm talking about yesteryear, back in in the early, in the latter 60s and stuff like that. I don't want y'all to think that we were doing it yesterday, but this was, this was yesteryear. And uh, I got to be well acquainted with them back then. And when, when uh, her brother, Willie Wright, steal his daddy car. And we went to uh, see some girls that day and when we get ready to leave, the car wouldn't crank. Oh. And, uh, and we had a time out of our life. Gonna get killed on the other hand, and now daddy car won't crank. And we got a, a guy that was down in the area with a tree shade mechanic. Thank God for the tree shade mechanic. <laughs> he came and, and did what he'd done and got us started, and we got back where we needed to be before we was missing. Uh, we go way back together. And when I look at the obituary and look here today, if age was the thing that killed you, I'd have been dead way before her. Because I'm older than her by the obituary. So age don't kill you. It's just when your lease run out. Anybody know we here on a lease? Yeah. We on a lease. And when your lease run out, then that's it. Amen. When you go and rent these white folks' cars, three days, if you keep them four, five days, it's gonna cost you. Why? Because your lease run out two days ago. And you got to pay more, seem like then, than you did when you first got it. So I'm saying to you, all of us are here on a lease. And the Bible says it like this, the Lord give man three skulls, and if you be careful, stay off the Facebook, stay off the footbook, stay off the knee book, talking about people and talk to people. 
He said, your days may be prolonged upon the land which the Lord thy God hath given thee. He gave you three scores. Three scores is 60. And if you be careful and love people, do unto others like you would want them to do unto you. Then he said you might gain ten. But I thank God this sister had a bond with the Lord. Because she gained hers. She made more than three scores. She made more than ten. She was going on another ten. So I'm saying to you, my sisters and my brothers, let us, let us, Love ye one another. If you love one another like the Lord has loved us, then everything will be all right. And you can't tell me God don't love us. Because when I look around at yesterday and look at the day, it rained about all day yesterday. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Amen. About all day it rained. And look how the Lord loved us so till he stopped the rain. Amen. He stopped the rain and the sun peeping through a little bit and it ain't hot and it ain't cold. Amen. I don't know about y'all, but it's just right for me. Amen. Give the Lord a hand out here. <laughs> Acknowledgement. 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 Then you leave the church and we aggravate. They wouldn't let me sing my song. I'm letting you announce you can sing your song. All right, there go one coming. Praise God for you, sister. Amen. Praise God for you. All right. Yeah. Go your home, baby. <laughs> not prepared for this, but I don't know I love y'all. I'm here for y'all. I'm going to hide behind, all right, all right. hide behind the mountain, oh Lord, I'm going to hide behind, hide behind the mountain. chilly wind don't blow. Yeah. Amen. I long to get there one day where we can be at peace with the Lord. I said many times in my talking sometime I said everybody not every other one but everybody going to die. Y'all believe that? Amen. Might be here a long time. Might be here a short time. But all of us going to die. Uh, this world is a stop by place. You to get ready to go to the next place. This world is a stop by place. And uh, while we are here, we should do everything we can to be sure that we're going to make it to the next stop. Amen. Amen. There are some things in this world you can do 
and still be recognized. And there's some things you can do and to keep you from going to the next world. If you don't believe it, ask Trump. <laughs> some things you can do and some things your legacy will follow you down the road. What you do today will follow you into tomorrow. Amen. If you don't believe it, ask Trump. Amen. How you talk to people today Amen. will follow you in to tomorrow. Amen. What you call people today, that'll be you tomorrow. Amen. Used to mama name years ago, back in the 50s, in the early 60s, they would tell us, if you're going to dig a ditch, dig two. Amen. But in the now, in the now, you ain't got no business digging two ditches. You ain't got to dig but one. Amen. Cause guess what? That first ditch you dig, that's yours. Y'all ain't talking loud. Amen. The first ditch you dig, that's gonna be your ditch. Amen. Amen. So ain't no need to dig no extra one, cause you ain't gonna fall in but one. Amen. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. You might not believe it. What people do to you, you ain't responsible for that. But you is responsible for what you do to people. Y'all believe that? Amen. What you do to people is what's going to haunt you in the coming years with the Lord. Now, I'm not, I'm not purposely to worry you long because my sister has already lived and she has already completed her journey and we yet got to do ours. Amen. We yet got to complete our journey. But if you'll notice with me, and turn with me and look, or either read it when you get home to the house. Uh, in uh, Corinthians, the second Corinthians, chapter 5. Second Corinthians, chapter 5. And it tells us something. It tells us something. It don't tell us that, that everybody ain't going to know it. It tells us something. In, in, in the first setting of it, it says, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle <coughs> dissolve, we have in building in a house of God not made with hand, eternal in heaven. That way I want to go. I want to go to the eternal place, which Amen. is called heaven. All right, in just for a few minutes, I'm going to see, can I point out the difference in a house and a home? Amen. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. Anybody ever experienced a house burning up? Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, 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 a house will burn down, oh, yeah. but a home won't. Because right. the house is built by the hands oh, of male and female. All right. Amen. But the home is built by God. Amen. And in the home, there ain't going to be no corruption. There ain't going to be no sadness. There ain't going to be no madness. There ain't going to be no dislikes in the home. But in the house, sometimes, the house that we build, the house that we buy, sometimes we buy what we call a double wide. All right. And it turns to triple wide. Because we have apartments. All right. I believe more than me out here has been married. Sometimes your house turns into an apartment house. All right. You in one part and your wife in the other All part. Right. Can I get a witness in here? But when we get home, when we get home, there ain't going to be no apartment house. All of us going to be in the same place. Amen. There's a, there's a difference in a house, in a home. The house, you got to put insurance on it. But the home is already insured. Yeah. The house, you got to go grocery shopping in order to sit down and eat. But the home, the table is already prepared. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Ain't you, ain't, don't, don't you be glad when you get to the house and you ain't got to tell the wife, uh, is you cooking? Okay. It's already on the table. Yeah. So whenever we get home, amen, that the table is already prepared. And that's what I love about working to get home. Yeah. And on the way home, there's going to be some 
trials and tribulation. On the way home, there are going to be some places that we're going to have to cry. Yes. We're going to have to give up the right yes. for the wrong. Yes. On the way home. Yes. But to the house, sometimes you can take your handkerchief and just wipe the tears from your eyes. Yes. Amen. But, 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 but on the way home, Jesus said, I wipe all oh, tears yes. from your eyes. Yes. Can I get a witness in here? Because when we wipe it with the handkerchief, it'll come back. Right. But when Jesus wiped it, how many know he yes. ain't coming back? Amen. 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 The trouble will be over and we'll Amen. be home at last. Amen. Amen. I'm working and I'm waiting to get home with the Lord. Amen. Where the Bible says there won't be no more pain, no more sickness, no more heartache. No more giving up the right for the wrong. For every day will be like Sunday. I long to get there. Yeah. For every day will be like Sunday. Amen. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. Sometimes people take Sunday for the best day of the week. But I want you to let you know before Sunday comes, there is a Monday. All right. After Monday, there is a Tuesday. Yes. After Tuesday, there is a Wednesday. All after right. Wednesday, there is a Thursday. Yes. And after Thursday, there is a Friday. Yes. And our sister being planted back in the earth on Friday, yes. getting right. ready to go back, her body back to the Lord. Yes. The Bible said our, our body's got to be returned back to the earth, yes. back from the, to the giver. Amen. We don't know how much it takes to make a body, but I want to let you know my daddy know. Yes. My daddy what called Jesus. Yes. He knows all about everything. Yes. That's why I love to yes. lean on the Lord. Yes. The Bible said if you lean on him, he won't let you fall. Yes. Every now and then I like to lean on the Lord. Yes. Amen. I know if I lean on him, God will. Yes. I say the Lord will. Yes. God will. Yes. No. He'll stand by us. Yes. Uh, the Lord will hold you. Uh, yes. When everybody turn you loose, yes. God will hold you. Uh, anybody ever know the Lord will yes. uh, make a way for you uh, yes. out of no way? Uh, yes. yes, He will. Yes. Uh, the Lord will feed you. Uh, yes. Whenever you're hungry, He'll feed you. Uh, whenever you're naked, He'll close you. Yes. Whenever you're out the door, He'll give you a shelter. Uh, yes. Can I get a witness in here? Uh, yes. Say yes. yes. Uh, say yes. God will uh, make a way for us. Uh, there's a difference in a house uh, and a home. A different in a house and a home. Our sister is already packed up and going to her home where the troubles and the trials and the COVID-19 ain't going to bother her. Amen. She won't have to be afraid of COVID-19. She's going to be with the Lord. Where there won't be no sorrows, no sickness, no death, no graveyard, or either cemeteries. Amen. For the Lord will hide us behind the mountain. And I thank God for the times that the Lord has given her to be in this world. That she would be able to live her children, her nieces, her nephews, and all of them would be able to see a sweet somebody has laid down their life for the Lord. God bless you. I want y'all to leave here today thinking, and if you don't think of nothing else, they call me Max Singletary. So if you if you don't believe nothing else, you leave here today saying that old preacher tell us we could die. Amen. 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 We gonna die. This is shows you bone. You gonna die one day or one night or early in the morning. But after death, there is judgment. God bless you. Amen. Back in the hands of the Martisha. Well, as much as it has pleased Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased, we therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection at the latter day 
and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead. The corrupted bodies of those who sleep in them shall be changed and made like it under his glorious bodies, whereby he's able to subdue all things. I heard the voice of Jesus said unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which died in the Lord. Even so said the Spirit that they rest from their labors and their works do follow them. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Amen. Now may the once crucified the Savior, dead and buried, risen on the third day, rest, rule, and abide with these thou sweet people, henceforth now and forever. Let everybody say amen. 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 Go in peace, my sisters and brothers. Amen. Amen, my friends. I'd like to take this opportunity on behalf of the family just to thank Reverend Singletary. You know, I've seen Reverend Singletary a lot in the last couple, couple of months. But God has blessed them, and God continues to bless them to do what is needed for the family. We give both thanks for him and what his services he renders all of us. To the many friends who came as we go through this difficult and trying times, you come and you stand, and you, uh, not sitting down, but you come to show how much you care for Mr. Chandler and his yeah. family. We thank you so much for all your all your effort and whatever you've done and for this family. Thank you so very much. For him, thank you from the family before coming. On behalf of this family, allow me to thank you so much, and I feel so much a part of this family because I have some members of the family that worked with me for many years. Thank yeah, God so right. much for them, what they've done. But we say we have done what God has placed our hands to do. As old for me song as we go through this difficult and trying time. We know not what oh, yeah. tomorrow holds. Oh, yeah. We know who holds tomorrow. I continue to stay safe as possible. Please, family, stay safe. Let us trust in the Lord. The Lord has brought us to this. You can take it through. Amen. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, sir. You know, I'm going to tell you, I use a select of songs to leave on. This won't be going to leave on today. But we need a touch. Let's be in a drought for way too long. We need to sing our freedom song. Oh Lord, we need a touch. Lord, we need to hear your voice. from you, we really need a touch from you, send your last breath.